Welcome to our session on DI Profiles. Today, we will be taking a look at the use of DevInfo technology in creating DI Profiles for monitoring socioeconomic development. Please note that microphones and webcam scans are disabled. You can use the chat feature in the lower left to, talk, to ask questions or raise concerns. Let us have a look at today's agenda. In a short while, we will take you through the DI profiles and introduction by Devon for Support Group. Then from 1820 hours to 1830 hours, we will talk about national and subnational profiles, Bolivia. After that, we will have a 15 minute session on question and answer and discussion. Let us start with an introduction. Should I stop? Today's agenda. Today we will begin by looking at the variety of ways that DevInfo Support Group has partnered with UNICEF and other UN agencies on developing DI profiles since 2008. We will also hold a session on an overview of developing a DI profile using Bolivia database. As we learn today about the technology used to develop DI profiles, let us consider in what other areas could such an approach be applied, like elimination of malnutrition, access to education, etc. To close up the session, we will hold a question and answer session in which we invite discussion and ideas on this topic. Let us have a brief overview on DI profiles. DI profiles is a utility to generate area profiles at all administrative levels. When we talk about area profiles, the area can be global, national, or a subnational, or any geographic or any geographic area. This option is available in DevInfo 6.0 user application. DI profiles allows you to generate uniform profiles for multiple areas using pre-designed profile layouts. A profile acts as a snapshot of the database, highlighting key indicators or a specific sector. It provides both a summary or detail of important indicators that plays crucial role in program implementation. It has an advantage over the database in a way that the data is well formatted and packaged while data in the database, it is available in raw form. In general, a profile helps as a monitoring tool on how countries are progressing in their efforts 
to achieve out of their developmental programs. It is important to understand and to know whether the implementation of the program is on the right track and the target population is benefited or not at all administrative levels. To be more precise, a DI profile is actually, actually an area profile which is a sector-wise analysis of an area based on key performance indicators. The analysis being presented in the form of tables, graphs, and maps. You can see in the slide above. Interrelations can be made between the sectors very easily since all the indicators are present in a page or two. Strong and weak aspects of the program can be viewed easily. Like every other profile, TI Profile 2 has some prerequisites to generate a profile. These are a Dev Info Database, a profile layout, DI profile feature which is available in DevInfo 6.0 user application. Let us have a detailed look at these prerequisites and how to proceed with creation of a profile layout. Steps required to create a profile layout involves a dev info database containing all the indicators and areas using which the profiles to be generated. Second, a pre-designed blank profile layout in Microsoft Excel, whereas a layout consists of pre-designed objects, that is, tables, graphs, and maps. Please note that to design a well-presented profile layout, one should be very efficient in Microsoft Excel. A layout also consists of rules, where rules for fetching the data into the layout dynamically can be defined using DI profile feature. The rules serve as an interface between the Dev Info database and a profile layout. The DI profile feature reads the data from the database based on the rules dynamically and transfer the data to the profile layout where the data is displayed graphically. A layout also consists of rules, where rules for fetching data into the layout dynamically can be defined using the profile feature. The rules serve as an interface between the Dev Info database and a profile layout. The DI profile feature reads the data from the database based on the rules dynamically and transfers the data to the profile layout where the data is displayed graphically. Steps required okay. to create a profile layout involves a Dev Info database containing all the indicators and areas using which the profiles to be generated. Please note that to design a well presented profile layout in Microsoft Excel, one should be very efficient in Microsoft Excel. As I mentioned in the previous slide that the DI profile feature 
reads the rules and transfer the data to profile layout, it actually transfers the data to the data sheets created in profile layout apart from rules and layout sheet. Like in this slide, you can, you can see some of the data sheets that is access, snapshot of progress, PER, NET, etc. As I mentioned in previous slide that the TA profile feature reads the rules and transfer the data to profile layout. It actually transfers the data to the data sheets created in profile layout apart from rules and layout sheet. So the structure of a layout consists of a layout to display the data in graphical form, rules to fetch the data from the database and transfer it to the data sheets and data sheets. Data sheets are defined as per user's convenience based on the presentation object under consideration. Now, before starting with our next session on national and subnational profiles for Bolivia, let us have a brief look at some of the profiles that DevInfo support group has developed using BI profile feature. Countdown to 2015 profiles. The Countdown initiative is a supra-institutional collaborative effort of concerned individuals and partner organizations. The 2008 country profiles represents the basic information to be analyzed at countdown conferences and evidence for assessing progress since the first countdown report in 2005. Each profile presents the most recent available information on selected demographic measures of maternal, newborn and child survival and nutritional status coverage rates for priority interventions and selected indicators of equity, policy support, human resources and financial flows. ACSD profiles or the Accelerated Child Survival and Development Profiles is an integrated UNICEF program that delivers low-cost, high-impact interventions that dramatically improve child survival over a short period of time. It is a child survival intervention delivered on an accelerated track, that is, progressing at a more rapid pace in selected countries. Priority countries are those identified as having both a high level of under 5 mortality rate and a high level of readiness for accelerating the effectiveness of their healthcare systems. The ACSD or the Accelerated Child Survival and Development Profiles display basic demographic and health information critical to monitoring and tracking the progress of countries targeted under the ACSD program. MDG profiles. The MDG profiles display data on how countries are progressing in their efforts to achieve the Millennium Development Goals. As the 2015 target for achieving the MDGs is fast approaching, it becomes critical for all stakeholders to know how countries are performing with respect to each goal and where additional efforts are needed to achieve the desired targets. These profiles summarize the most recent data at the country level for seven of the eight goals as well as data on selected child protection indicators. Nutrition profiles. 
the coverage and impact indicators included in the UNICEF nutrition country profiles represent a core set of indicators to monitor progress on child and maternal nutrition. These indicators represent long-standing, well-established survival and development indicators that are harmonized with other global monitoring efforts, including the Millennium Development Goals, the World Fit for Children, Countdown to 2015, and UNICEF's Medium Term Strategic Plan. The data in these profiles reflect the most recent estimates. MDG 5B Plus Profiles is an initiative of the Population and Development Branch of the Technical Division in UNFPA to track global progress towards achieving the Millennium Development Goals and other UNFPA indicators. It compiles the latest data on these indicators at the global, regional, national, and subnational level. Policy makers and planners are encouraged to access these country profiles and the data to support evidence-based decision-making on issues related to maternal and reproductive health. The country profiles provides short summaries of the levels, trends, and differentials for three of the four MDG indicators under target 5B, that is, adolescent birth rate, contraceptive prevalence rate, and unmet need for contraception. In sub-national category, PNG DOE provincial profiles were developed to highlight sub-national disparities in education achievement and also as a tool to improve the quality and coverage of education data. These profiles, as any, are limited to the data available. In the case of PNG, education data is quite limited. Now, let us have a look at a complete view of PNG DOE provincial profiles. It comprises of two pages. First one, first one with graphics in the form of line graphs and column graphs and scatter graphs. Second one with a disparity table. Now, let us do a technical analysis on the database Base de Datos Municipal 1.mdv that we have received in regard to development of national and subnational profiles. Let us talk about administrative structure of Bolivia and at the same time the structure followed for area in the database. The database on the topmost level it's Latin America, then Bolivia. Below below Bolivia we have nine departments, one hundred twelve provinces, and below provinces we have three hundred twenty seven municipalities. The data is available for 73 IUSs, Indicator Unit Subgroup Combinations, at national and departmental level, and for 80 IUSs at municipality level, out of total 91 IUSs. No data is available for 112 provinces. It means the data is available for Bolivia, for nine departments, and for municipalities. The data is available for 21 time periods starting from 1992 to 2011. An initial analysis of IUS and time periods suggests possibility of two sets of profile layout because 
data availability for the IUSs are same at national and departmental level. In other words, at national and department levels, we have same set of IUSs available. While it is different for municipalities as it is clearly visible that there are additional IUSs at municipal level for which data is available. So there is a possibility of two sets of files for national and departmental level and the second one for municipalities. Now let us move towards question and answer and discussion session. You can use the chat feature in the lower left to ask questions or raise concern. Bueno, muy bien, me llamo John Toner. Espero que ustedes escucharon, escucharon a nosotros uh, bien. Uh, ahora vamos a, a usar el, la, el chat para preguntar a nosotros si ustedes tienen preguntas, dudas o otras otras cosas así. Um, así que eh, ya estamos listos y disponibles para responder. As I, uh, as I mentioned, there is, as I mentioned, in our profile layout, whenever we design a profile layout, we have, we have a layout sheet in which we design all the graphics in the form of table, graphs, and maps. It's, going, it's basically a blank layout without data. And in the same Excel file or layout, we create a rule sheet. We create a rule sheet, and there is in our DI profile feature, we have a mapping utility. We have a mapping feature in that, a mapping option that that we can use to map between uh, the Excel objects and the database. So basically, the in rules is an interface between the database and the profile layout. So the first step is to create a DevInfo database that in case of Bolivia is already there. Second step is to design the layout. So when we talk about designing a layout, we are talking about AI designing graphics, creating rules using DI profile feature. And that rules are used, those rules are used to transfer data from database to layout sheet. So basically, rules are the interface between DevInfo and layout sheet. Is that answers your question? Uh, IUS, as I said, stands for Indicator Unit Subgroup. It's a short form we generally use. So IUS means indicator unit subgroup combination. Uh, we can have a look at this slide in which we can see that the first sheet is the rules sheet. Initially, when we design the layout, 
like this, the one we are looking on the slide, we design a layout like this, a blank layout. The row seed is empty. What we do, we design a layout and design rest of the data sheets, like the one access, snapshot of progress, PER, NER, net admission rate, as we can see on the slide. Then we go to the, we open the Devinfo 6.0 user application and select the option of BI profile. We click on the BI profile option. It asks us to select the designed layout that we have already designed. Then next, it asks us to select the database. And the third step is mapping where we can define our rules based on the data we want to fetch from the database for the profile. Is that answer your question on explaining of wizard? The sheet layouts are designed or personalized or customized in using Microsoft Excel. Like the one on the slide. So if you look at this sheet, this slide, the first sheet named as rules, second named as layout, the rest of the sheets are data sheets where the data is actually replicated or transferred from Dev info database using rules. So basically, the layout has been designed by a user. The rules are also set by a user. And then the utility is used to generate all the areas, be it a national or a subnational or any geography. All the area, all the profiles for all the areas are automatically generated dynamically. Uh, we are sorry about that live demonstration as the internet transmission doesn't allow uh, uh, live yeah, a live demonstration. Let us have a look on the screen. This, this is a rules sheet. Now, these rules are the syntax that actually fetch the data from the database. And this is created using a graphical user mapping tool. And that mapping tool is inbuilt in the DI profile feature. So rules sheet is totally separate from the one you are talking about, you are talking about the sh data sheets where the data is actually transferring. Let us have a look on those slides. These are the slides, these are the sheets that we are talking about that are that is actually having same structure as layout sheet. We do we did the same structure for our convenience. So rules and layout sheets are different apart from the rest of the data sheets. The data is actually transferred to these data sheets. For example, access, the sheet with the name access, the sheet with the name snapshot of progress, the sheet with the name PER, NER, net admission rate, table, quality of education graph. These all are the data sheets where the data is actually transferred, reading the rules in the first sheet. 
all these sheets, data sheets are linked to the layout sheet. So all the tables, all the graphs in the layout sheets are actually linked to these rest of the sheets. I hope this answers the question. Yes, we will send you uh, the presentation. We can share the presentation, not an issue.